There are two dominant backswing styles in pro tennis that result in world-class results. The first of the two is the letter C backswing, which is the looping backswing where the racket traces a letter C during the course of the takeback. The second style is mostly used by ATP players with the exception of a few players like Justin Hennen and that is the closed racket face or pronated backswing where the racket drops down via gravity with a closed face and is subsequently allowed to snap back into the laid back wrist position on its own. While there is a large variety of ways to take the racket back in the backswing, there are commonalities in the swing path after the unit turn. If you watch Federer, Nadal, Djokovic, Verdasco, Sharapova or even the Williams sisters, the racket position during the set position is remarkably similar. In general, at the height of their take back, the pro racket position consists of the elbow slightly below the level of the shoulder and the level of the hand wrist about the same level as the shoulder. This ensures a proper racket height and a level drop. There has also been great deliberation in regards to how a player should take their racket back. Since there are many different styles of play in tennis, there is not one perfect backswing, but indeed there are certain commonalities that results in better power, topspin and accuracy that you should adhere to. One of these technical elements is the same side backswing. This means that the hitting arm and racket should not go further back behind the right side of your body. In fact, it should stay on the right side of the body and the racket should not go behind the plane of the body under any circumstances.